97.3 City FM. Relevant Radio. Always.
was the founder of this party who first launched the battle for national independence. That historic day on the 4th of August, 1947, when the UGCC was founded. And from that day to day, the historic mission of this party has been the establishment of democracy and the rule of law in the body politic of that. To that end, they made great sacrifices, some of them paying the ultimate sacrifice. Dr. Dankwa, Bessie Pilanti, and the others did. It was our movement that fought against the idea of the one party state, fought the idea of the life president. And even at the height of the Cold War, the principles that we have subscribed to were laid out clearly. Democracy, the rule of law, respect for human rights, the development of a market economy. Those are the principles that we have fought for and they continue to be the principles that we fight for today. We can take some satisfaction from the fact that today history has moved in our direction. And across our continent and across the world, the societies that are being built are the societies that are founded on this vision. After 1966, we had the first opportunity to put this vision into reality in the government of Kufiyad Bufabusia. Even though it lasted barely two and a half years, brief it was, but remarkable in the quality of the advances that were made that people still talk about today. With his overthrow came the fight to restore democracy in our country, the 1970s and the 1980s. And in that struggle, through the People's Movement for Freedom and Justice, the Movement for Freedom and Justice, members of this, of this tradition led the way were prepared to bring detentions and exile to make sure that Ghana is what it is today, a multi-party democracy <laughs> under the rule of law. And I dare say, that under the Fourth Republic, our second taste of power, under the leadership of our outstanding leader, John Ajikun before. I say this with respect to Dr. Jay and the others, provided the best government that the Fourth Republic has ever seen. We have a great story to tell, a story of vision and achievement. What is our task in our generation? Simple, is to build on this historic foundation and keep on with the construction of the house that Dankwa, that Domo, that Buzia envisage. A free, open society where human rights and the rule of law are respected. A fair society where everyone has a fair opportunity, including access to education and free education. Yeah. And for themselves and raise the standard of living of every Ghanaian within the context of a modern industrialized economy. That's our task.